So here's kind of a useful troubleshooting tip um, uh, for chasing down electrical gremlins, uh, especially um, shorts to ground, shorts to hot, um, shorts that are completely intermittent and you can't make them happen on demand, and it only happens when you're driving <laughs> and not diagnosing in your driveway. Um, here is a voltmeter, pretty standard, with a uh, 10 amp uh, ammeter built into it. Uh, and what I have done, uh, so this has a 10 amp circuit breaker inside of it. Uh, I believe it's one of those bimetallic strips so that uh, if you exceed 10 amps on your amp reading, um, it will beep and throw errors and tell you something is bad and shorted um, somewhere because obviously that's an incredibly high draw. Um, and then it will cut off. Um, and then when the strip inside cools down again, it will reset itself. You'll reset the circuit breaker and you can continue testing. Uh, but what I've done with it is, since uh, basically what's been happening is my brake lights have been popping um, fuses, and I have a couple things going on on my brake light circuit. Um, first of all, I have courtesy lights, so the map light, uh, the rear uh, passenger courtesy lights, and all the door courtesy lights, and my stop lights, as in brake pedal stop lights, not tail lights, uh, are all on the same circuit. They all share a uh, power source, and that's the fuse that was popping. Uh, but I couldn't make it happen on demand. So what I did was I took this voltmeter and I took the 10 amp testing uh, ammeter circuit or setting function and I ran the probes into two spade bits down into my, well it's a little dark down there, but down into my fuse block. So I replaced my fuse with both ends of this probe uh, and I enabled the amp gauge here. So if I turn on that light again, you will see I'm drawing uh, about half an amp, 0.53 amps. Uh, if I turn on the rear passenger courtesy lights, I'm drawing 1.6 amps, uh, which is all very normal. Uh, and then if I shut all of those off and I touch my brake pedal, you see I get 3.9, almost 4 amps on both of my stoplights out back. Uh, and then I can, you know, hold that and I can turn on other lights and I can see when I finally go past 10 amps, um, which is way too much for uh, a handful of light bulbs. Um, and it worked. It actually worked really well. I drove for about an hour this weekend and what it turns out is it was my uh, turn signal stock. So what was happening was, is um, obviously your sort of Power for stoplights goes down to the stoplight switch, um, or the brake light switch on the uh, master cylinder. At least it does on my master cylinder. Um, it's a hydraulic switch, uh, and it's power in, power out. And then it comes back up here and goes under the dash, and then up through the firewall, under the dash, into a bus, which is behind this control pod. Um, and inside that bus, it splits out into wires which travel up into the uh, turn signal stock switch here, uh, in this big housing. And if you've never been inside this housing before, um, it is kind of interesting in there. It's really cool to take apart and look at, but um, when I took it apart originally and was, you know, doing the restoration, I didn't touch the wires in here. I left them all alone. Um, and so what was happening was, as I was driving with my ammeter, occasionally, only before or after I was turning, uh, or I nudged this switch, that's when I would see my am gauge flip out and uh, break the circuit. Uh, and what I found out when I parked and realized it was the switch is I could jimmy it just right, and I would see sparks. So something is shorting out in here that isn't supposed to be. Um, obviously, your brake lights or stop lights are what flash when you move the flashers. So the reason it wasn't happening in the driveway is because I was just testing the brake lights and the courtesy lights. Um, and this is not, uh, I can't get this to fail or short or spark reliably. Um, it's only occasionally, but occasionally I can get it to spark. Uh, and that's how I knew what I needed to fix. Um, so that's kind of a, a tech tip that you can use to diagnose 
um, shorting wires that don't do it all the time. Uh, it worked really, really well, and I figured it out a heck of a lot faster than if I didn't have this, because I've actually been chasing this one down for months. Um, it won't do it for months and months, and then it will do it, uh, and then I'll replace the fuse, and I'll be driving along, and I'll realize I don't have any taillights anymore, and my courtesy lights are out, so hopefully that helps.